On the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me guys welcome back to new drum drinker another day another door to open i'm so excited i feel like i've said this over and over but it's still exciting when when our kids moved out i just presume like it wouldn't be as exciting at christmas time but with this one here it's like the best advent calendar ever yeah it just christmas is never not excited <laughs> oh because i'm the one who makes it exciting well that door look excited open that door <laughs> We were talking this morning about um, Christmas traditions. So, if you've ever spent Christmas morning with us, family and friends, you will know that Ant gets up at five o'clock every morning, every Christmas morning. Every Christmas morning. And so will you, whether you want to or not. Like, you literally have no choice. It's just one of those things. He's an early riser on <laughs> Christmas morning. So, yes, I'm making it exciting now, but actually... You are. I am on. Yeah, as it gets, I have to finish work first. I think yeah, while I'm suppose. still at work. I kind of go through two phases. We put the tree up. I'm really excited. Then it fades, and then it gets better again when yeah. I've like when I finish yeah. work, and you can just concentrate on Christmas Maybe. and all that, and yeah. all the traditions kicking again and yeah. things like that. So yeah. that's 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 my favourite time. But I've opened it. Haven't looked at it. So yeah. I will show you what it is now. Hopefully the camera will. Ooh, what luck. Yeah. Okay, I can actually see this one for once. So, we will bring up the details so you can see what we're going to be drinking and then we'll let you know what we think of it. Okay, so this is the 16-year-old, another one we haven't had, to be honest. Yeah. I think we've had a muck like on the bar yet, have we? I love yeah. the bottles. Yeah. But really I always cool. like, I think they're elegant bowls, but we've never had one, which no. is unusual for me because I usually tend to buy ones that have got for lovely bottles because yeah. it just that does something for me. Yeah, yeah. But never tried it, mm. always wanted to. 16 so. is a good one as well, not entry level. You'd like yeah. to think this is uh, yeah, what nice. ABV is it? Uh, it is 43.4. Oh, not so too it's, bad. it's yeah. not bad, yeah. it's not bad, it's not mm. 40, so good legs on it, which I would imagine is the age <sighs> rather than the ABV, but. Let's go in and see what we think, shall we? You've already gone in. I've lost her already. Oh, yeah, sherry. it's nice. Sherry sweetness. I would say fake oh, sweet note. Oh, would though. you? Yeah, like a sweet shop note. Definitely a sweet shop. Oh, I'm getting like cherries. Cherry drops, that kind of thing. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, I'm not getting that. Ice and sugar. You know, yes. like the um, paper bag. And all the powders in the bottom of the yeah. hot bag. Yeah. For me, it's that it is those sherry notes, and it's really rich, mm. really lovely. Rich. Don't get me wrong. I, I have a feeling this is going to be a full mouth, <coughs> mouthful. A full mouth. <laughs> a full mouth. A full, full mouthful. Mouth. That's a new one. That's <laughs> the new phrase of the day. <laughs> it's a full mouth. Um, I mean, if anyone knows me, mm. a sweet shop. Yeah. All the candy in the world is my mm. kind of bag. So yeah. this is definitely. Yeah. Looking good. I, I wouldn't say it was traditional sherry. It's it, like the notes. It's fruity and sweet. I just have a feeling this is going to be a really big mouthful. <laughs> Do you think it's going to be different on the palate than it is the nose? Then? I'm hoping so. so. Be, from what I'm getting on the nose, I, oh, I'm i nice, anticipating uh, I quite that. like the nose, so I'm hoping yeah. it's really similar to yeah. the nose. But but I'm go. not getting the sweet shop icing no. sugar that you are. Well, no, that's just because you're not me. <laughs> Let's, uh, it's because you just heard me. It's <laughs> because you're not me. Let's go in. Mm. I would say more of those artificial notes are there now on the palate. Yeah. When you first when you first drink it, mm. creamy. Yeah. Um It is a full mouthful. Very kind of I would say, like I agree with you, very kind of fake sweet mm. note. Yeah. Um, those artificial sugars. A bit more and, pepper. Not, yeah. Not necessarily pepper <laughs> no. spice maybe. On I, think the, on the palate, you think I think it is pepper. I think it is pepper. Um, very nice. Though. Mm, it is very, very nice. nice. Yeah, but I like it because it does it, it. It does change as yes. you drink it, and it has that. Do you know when you? And I don't know a lot about whiskey. This makes me sound like I know a lot about whiskey. <laughs> but sixteen-year-old, you almost expect more than a twelve-year-old sherry. Do you know what I mean? And okay. I think it's got that. 
I always get this Maturity. little yes, and it's like a little dusty note. Hmm. There's like a little. I don't want to use the word funky because it's not quite funky, but there is that older hmm. kind of dusty, just little edge to it that yeah. you you don't really get with others. It's not as ta da! I'm here. Yeah. There's something very sort of. It knows it's reserved. Good in a way, it, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> I would just know it was yeah. aged, and I don't know why I know that. But yeah. I, there's a similarity that I get with older whiskies. Mm, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm not saying I know a lot about them at all, but that you, I think I would be able to pick out that this was older. I really like that. Yeah, it's it's like a distinguished. It feels mm. aged. It feels there's 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 a lot going on. I would say it's quite a complex whiskey. But in a very interesting way. I would say my, my least favourite part of it is the finish. Mm -hmm. But the finish has got different levels to it because at the start the finish is just all like the peppers. Yeah. But then once the peppers have gone, it leaves the fruity note. Mm -hmm. So that even the finish has got a finish. <laughs> That's oh, okay. all. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like it lingers that. and lingers and lingers. But changes. So it's like the finish has got a finish. Which I've not had yeah. before, I don't think. I, I kind of, I, I'm going to say, the finish is very long, mm. and not just the flavour. The feeling in my mouth, that pepperiness, yeah. it's definitely pepper. So it's not the, spice. The pepper disappearing and then moving into a fruitier, look back to the sweets note at the, at the end. I think the pepper taste diminishes, but the feeling is still there. I know it's peppery. And that's why I know it's pepper, not spice, because it's mm. not flavour. You know, spices, you get those gingers or the cinnamon or the... It's not like that. Yeah. It is pepper. But there's that lovely warming mm. note, and it, it is fruity, and it is... It, it, I'm going to say red fruits, and mm. I think they do kind of come back at the end, don't mm. they? Yeah. But I, I'm so. going to stick with what I said. I thought it was going to be a full mouth feel, and it is. Yeah, I think it is. it's really complex. I think you'd know it was aged... I think there's a little dusty note that yeah. makes you think it's old. Um, How much is this bottle? Do we know? I don't know. Let's have a look. I've got it up on yeah. the screen right next to us, so it doesn't actually say. This is but. one of those whiskies that I would say, if you'd been drinking whiskey all evening and then somebody said, oh, I've got something nice to mm. end the evening on. Yeah. That's yeah. what I would think this was. I mean, going from the price range of what we've had mm -hmm. there anything between like 30 and 60 aren't mm -hmm. they so i'm presuming this fits into that bracket as well know. but i don't know i'll we'll have to i'll bring it yeah. up in the uh, in the notes that you've seen already so you know how much it is but cracking whiskey mm. really good another one i mean the back half of this or the, the final kind of last two thirds mm -hmm. third <laughs> <laughs> My husband, the mathematician. Well, this is like the third video we've done this <laughs> afternoon, so <laughs> my maths is a little bit off. But the, the second half of the video, the second half of the is, last two thirds <laughs> is <laughs> has been cracking. <laughs> so I think we need to leave it there. I think this is. I'm going to say this is the first one out of the whole box that I could see us bringing out as a something a little bit more special and something that I would like. I said I would yeah. say to somebody at the end of an evening. Try this. Mm. I think this is an interesting end to your evening. Yeah, 100%. That's what I would say. But another thing I would say as well is, buy it. <laughs> we don't lovely. know what it is yet. I don't think it's, it's not going to be extronomical because... Extronomical. Is that the word? No, astronomical. Oh, for God's sake. My spelling's think... gone. My vocabulary's <laughs> gone. My, my times table's gone. My fractions have gone. Everything's gone. So I'm going to go. So we'll leave it at that, shall we? And we'll see you again next time. <laughs>